Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my channel. It's lovely to have you joining us on this glorious day. It is, what day is it? Oh, it's Thursday. Yeah, the 3rd of October, would you believe? Hmm, anyway, someone's having their lawns cut and edges done, so you might hear that in the background, but luckily it's not at my house, otherwise I would have had to delay the video. I think mine's due to be done next Monday. Um, yeah, anyway, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another pet day to, for Suzanne's babies with her pet, pet theme of the week. And today we are looking at my darling little girl, Bridie, who's the Laura sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And look what she's wearing. I'll move her little friend. I'll show that to you in a minute, show him to you in a minute. There we go. Now this is what she's wearing. And what is that on her? It's a speck of some nonsense that doesn't belong. Goodness me. Um, she's got a beautiful knitted, oh, here we go again with what do we call this outfit? It's got no feet in it, um, baby grow. It's in pale blue and there's a gray doggy on the front and he's not facing us, this is the back of him. So he's got a gray tail and we can see his ears at the top. Now, okay, so let, before I go on, there's a, the same grey trim around the edge of the sleeves and not around the ankles, look at that, just plain blue, okay. I put this um, bodysuit on underneath to make sure that everybody knew that she was a girl, although a boy could wear a ruffled collar bodysuit, why not? Anyway, I put that on her and the bow in her hair to make sure that she looked like a girl. This outfit also comes with a little beanie hat which I had on her, but it's a bit big and I thought she looks better without it. So we didn't leave it on, did we, my darling? Um, so this is, oh, I have to show you something else really cute. Look at the elbows <laughs> on this outfit. <laughs> the gray patches for her elbows to lean on. So cute. Um, yeah, so that's what she's wearing. Now the brand is very interesting because I have no idea when I bought it or where I got it from, but I'll tell you the brand because I love to share the brands. I have to tell you that that is actually how I learned about lots of brands by watching kind, other kind channel presenters who, um, content presenters, I should say, who talked about the brands that their babies were using. So this one is by, it says Firsts by Petit Lem, L-E-M, two separate words, Petit, Petit Lem. Um, and it's called first so i don't know um, it says oh made in china and where else is it made in or well, where's it designed it doesn't say what i'm looking at is another version because obviously i bought two at the time as i found out when i went looking for pets i'll show you this one it's the pink version and it's got a rabbit on it and that's where i was getting the label from but i thought i might put this pink version on to lottie perhaps tomorrow or the next day, which will be fun, wouldn't it? And so it's got a gray bunny with a pink tail and the whole outfit is the same, but it's all in pink. Let's check the elbows. Very important to check the elbows. So this one also has a hat. Oh, it does have good elbows, I'll show you. Has the same hat with the pink in the gray trim, same as the little blue hat. And let's have a look at elbows now. We must check elbows. Not that you can see them. I have to put it here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that elbow patch. Isn't that adorable? So I'll save this to use with, with Lottie, I think, because it's a uh, three-month size, same as this one that the bridey's wearing, three-month size. I have no idea where I got it from, but if you're interested, check the, you know, put into Google that brand and see what comes up. Who knows if it even exists anymore. Now we've got a hair on there. I think that must be from her friend. So let me tell you about her friend. This is a beautiful little Steiff vintage dash hound. Isn't it adorable? So cute. I bought this in Germany many years ago, a long, long time ago, in 2011. Over there, they're like a dime a dozen. They have them in like tubs, all the different Steiff figures, figurines, dogs, cats, everything. You just shuffle through them, rifle through them in the tubs and they sell them for next to nothing, so I got him. Isn't he gorgeous? I love him. So the, he is keeping my little bridey company, seeing as we're talking about P 
pets, dogs for pets. Let me see, how can I put him so you can see him? Oh, what about like that? You can see him quite well there, can't you? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, we're talking about dogs for pets. And talking about dogs, my youngest do younger daughter, I've only had, I have two daughters and two sons. So my younger daughter is coming over today with her two daughters, my granddaughters, angels, of course. Um, and they're two dogs. Now, you've heard me talk about these dogs because I'm absolutely in love with them. Oh, they're the most, the sweetest, be most beautiful dogs you've ever seen. I am a dog lover, as you can tell. Um, so they're all coming very soon after I finish my video and pack this up. Um, yeah, they'll be coming over with, with the puppies. Oh, I love those dogs. So this, this little daughter of mine, who's, um, yeah, not that little anymore, she did used to be, <laughs> I can attest to that. Um, now she's a very responsible, caring, amazing human, grown up human. Yeah, anyway, she and her two daughters, my granddaughters, as I said, have been away on holiday for a week in Vanuatu. It's our school holidays. And their daddy, her, my daughter's husband, is away working overseas. So. He's not with them and he's missed out on everybody's birthdays, my daughter's and both my granddaughter's birthdays. So um, they went to Vanuatu for fun. It was, uh, the photographs were absolutely amazing. It looks like paradise, honestly. But now they're home and they left their, their um, beautiful dogs with my younger son and his children and they had the best time. They didn't want to give the dogs back. Um, they were meant to be picked up yesterday, but my son said, no, 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 you have to leave them for another whole day. So, um, yeah, the puppies have been very well loved and very well looked after. And so that daughter, my little daughter, is coming today. Yesterday, my older daughter came with her little grand, with her little daughter, who is another granddaughter. I have five granddaughters and three grandsons. So I am a very lucky person. Each of my children had two children, so that's very worked out very evenly and neatly, hasn't it? Anyway, so it's been a busy time, but I have to tell you, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, it's such a relief, such a relief. Yeah, it's really, really good. I um, The swelling is going down in my foot. I had less pain overnight than I have at other nights, and um, just feel a bit better. Maybe it's only like 15% better, but I can really tell the difference. I think I'm I'm on a, well, should I say winning streak? I'm on a getting better streak, I think. Yeah, I'm a bit too scared to say it because I don't want to jinx myself, but at this point I don't think I'm jinxable with my health. I think I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, so I'm feeling really good. And oh, there was something I was going to tell you about. What was it? A whole story. It was flashed in and flashed out. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know what it was. Oh, it's just what I've been doing this morning. Oh, crazy morning. Oh, yes. I'm sure we all have these crazy mornings. I had two letters that I had to respond to. One was from the company that um, sends me um, accounts for my, what do you call that thing, the transponder for the toll roads in my car. Um, and every now and again, like it's only happened twice that my transponder hasn't registered properly as it goes through a certain one of those things that reads the transponders. And it's the same one, the same place has happened twice. And so they send me this letter that says I have to pay not only the toll, which is $9.63, but they want to add another $10, um, what do you, administration fee onto that. So I thought, no way, it's not my fault that your equipment's not working. I'm paying what I have to pay. Anyway, so I rang up and I got a, a, a difficult person to deal with. Um, anyway, I, I managed it and okay, I'm only paying the $9.63. So that was one one um, phone call out of the way. And of course, it's all the, you know, choose which one of this, number one, number two, number three, number four. Please leave feedback after your call and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all of that stuff. And having to look for account numbers that I just don't know where they are. And, oh, my goodness, log in and, oh, it was a nightmare. But it's done. And then the second one was, I had a letter from my 
gas company, the company that supplies gas to my house, um, and has for some years, are saying that they've got a new, um, a new, what do you call it? A new, oh, what do you call it? When you, you sign up to a, oh, a plan, that's the word, that's what you call it, a new plan for seniors. And it's a government law here that you have to, that these companies have to tell people when there's a better plan that they could be on. So the gas and electricity and water all have to do that. So, and it gave, gave a phone number that I could ring, otherwise I could just do it online. And I thought, no, I'm not being paid to do this stuff. I'm going to ring the people who are being paid to do it. So I did. I got a helpful guy this time, but we had to go through a whole rigmarole. And he said, look, there's two ways that you can actually get this done and change because it will save me $164 annually, so it's worth doing. And um, he said, either you can do it on the phone with me now, but it will take about between 10 to 12 minutes to do, or you can hop online and do it yourself, and it will only take one to two minutes. And I said, that's okay, I'll do it with you on the phone. Because that same reason, like, why do I have to do the work? I'm not being paid to do that. You guys can do it. So he did it. We went through the rigmarole and it certainly wasn't 12 minutes, not even 10. It was maybe four minutes maximum. It was nothing. I had to listen to one of those recorded messages to tell me the components of this plan and agree to it. And that was all. It was really straightforward. But it was yeah, so good to get them both done out of the way. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I've been talking for too long already. So that's what I was doing this morning. I thought it was going to be a horrendous morning, but it was OK. I got it dealt with. In fact, the first one was more horrendous than the second one. So the toll one was hideous because I went, I couldn't find where the um, account number was written. And I kept looking at all the different bits and all the pages. And then I found it and I felt so relieved because apparently the guy could not see the account number from his end. So, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like, oh, so clever. So, so clever to have achieved that. And it's hard being a grown-up sometimes, isn't it? It's a real pain in the neck. I think that's why we love having these dolls so much. Because, you know, it's just, just pure pleasure. Just fun. And and I'm so grateful to Suzanne for, for doing these theme weeks. Because it's been, I love doing them. I love going through all my baby clothes and finding things that fit in with the theme. I know I cheated a bit with the first one because I did lambs and sheep and it wasn't really, they weren't really, really what people think of when you say a pet. But some people do have them as pets. So, yeah, Suzanne said it was okay. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so, yeah, I do love doing these theme, these themes. It gives me a great, because I love my, my baby clothes collection. I love it so much and it's fun to go through it and find all the things that I've got. Yeah, so I think next time I will put Lottie in the pink version with the rabbit on, which will be fun, won't it? I'd love to do that. Oh, and also I can probably show you my competition entries tomorrow for the Doll Club competition, which is on Saturday. There are three three um, categories this time. Um, one is called Japanese, one is called QP, and the other one is Lady. So you can have a any kind of Japanese doll, you know, it could be anything. Or and then QP just has to be QP. There's so many different types of QPs, aren't there? Large and small and all the rest of it. I've only got one because I didn't want to go down that rabbit hole. When you're a doll collector, you just have to stop yourself from going down all sorts of rabbit holes. Yeah, because there's an infinite number of them. So I've just got one QP, and then a doll that looks like a lady. Um, back in a long time ago in the early 1900s there were beautiful dolls that were made really to look like women absolutely beautiful there's one that I really like called the Gibson girl not sure why she's got that name you know how some dolls get those kind of names um, so there there may be a few like that I don't have any like that I don't have any antique bisque dolls um, well I have a few but not not that genre not in the lady category but I do have a lovely composition doll made by F&B and I'll hopefully be able to show you tomorrow. She'll be completely ready by tomorrow. And I'll come on and show you all, all my three entries. And then after that, when, after I've entered, I'll let you know the result, whether they got zero or did get something. Um, 
We have five competitions a year and I'm going to stop talking. I'll tell you all about that when I come on and show you my competition entries. Yeah, I'll stop now. So thank you very much, everyone, for being here, for your comments on my last video and for saying hello to us. And there's Bridie. I know she's asleep, but she can still wave. She's a clever little sausage, isn't she? There we are. Hope you don't mind she's turned away a little bit today. She did start off this way, but then she decided to be a bit different. Now let's get this bow. There we go. That's the way she started off. I've just bumped the tripod. I'm sorry about that. Still rocking a weenie bit. Okay, I'm truly going to say goodbye now. And please, everyone, take care of yourselves. And I love you all so much. It's so much fun coming on and being with you for this time. I do love it. And I hope you enjoy yourselves when you visit us. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.